Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. It's Friday, boys and girls. And it's, guess what? May 1st. That's right. It is May 1st, the first day of May. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Well, since Larry's with me today, you know that we must be doing a compare and contrast. So that is what our lesson is going to be today, and we are going to be comparing Balto, the story we read on Tuesday, with Up in the Air, the story we read on Thursday. Isn't that something? We're going to re practice looking at those two stories and comparing and contrasting. So are you ready? Larry, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready, boys and girls? Hopefully you're ready too, and we will begin. So we're taking a look here at the true story of Balto. And we are going to ask ourselves, how can we compare this story to Up in the Air? They seem so different. Well, when we compare, we think about how the two stories are alike. Both of these stories are informational text. So that is one way that they are alike. They both tell about real events, so we can put that on our chart, which is right here. They are informational text, and they tell about real events. Now, what else is the same about these two stories? So think about it carefully. This one. Look at the photos. Hmm, what do you see? Now take a look at this one. Look at the photos. What do you see? And I'm pointing some things out to you. If you guessed that both stories, we know they're informational text, have real photos, that's correct. They have real photos, boys and girls. This one is real and this one is real. So that is one Thing that we will put on our chart and what else do you notice I am pointing something out to you they both have a map they both have a map so that on in the middle of both texts we have photos and has a map there's one more thing that is the same about both of these stories Think about where this story is happening. This story is taking place in Alaska. This story is taking place in New Mexico. Believe it or not, Alaska is part of the United States, boys and girls. So they both take place in the United States. So on our chart, take place in the United States of America. Wow, that's some interesting information. You like that, Larry? I sure do. I can see now how both of these stories are similar or the same. And you know what? I didn't know Alaska was part of the United States. A lot of people get confused with that one because Alaska is kind of separate. It looks separate from the United States. And so a lot of times people think it's not part of the United States, but it is. Now, we're going to look at how these stories are different. What makes them different? The true story of Balto. Think for just a moment. How are these stories different? Well, I have to think about how, what is really different about these stories. We think about how these two texts are very different. The true story of Balto is about something that happened in the past. Okay, the story about Balto took place a long time ago. But in our story of Up in the Air, this takes place every year. It's happening now. So that is a big difference between these two texts. So coming over here to our chart again, in the true story of Balto, it tells about a dog that lived in the past. Up in the air tells about something that happens now, today. What else is different? 
Well, what is this story about? It's a story. It's a true story about a dog and a dog sled and how Balto, the dog, pulled the sled to deliver the medicine during a blizzard. This story has nothing to do with a dog or a dog sled or any kind of tragedy. It simply tells about how a pilot moves the hot air balloon up and down. So that is another big difference. Going back to our chart, the story of Balto tells about a dog sled team that was led by Balto the dog that pulled a sled to deliver medicine during a blizzard. And in Up in the Air, it tells about how a pilot moves a hot air balloon. Now let's go back again. What else is different about these two stories? Going back to Balto first. Think for a moment. This is more of a story, isn't it? It has events in the story. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it gives details about the different events. About how the story started in 1925, that the people in Nome, Alaska were sick and dying. Then talks about how the team had to bring medicine. And then how Balto led the team. So this is a story and it has real events in it. In the story of Up in the Air, this is not a story. It's really just facts explaining how something works. And it has a diagram up here with labels, captions. We don't see that in Balto. We see pictures and we see the titles here, the name of the um, state and the cities, but we don't have captions that explain the pictures and we don't have clear labels. And clearly, in this story of Up in the Air, it talks about how something works. So that concludes our story, our story, our lesson today on comparing and contrasting. So I hope you enjoyed the story boys and girls. Was it fun? It's always neat to compare and contrast stories. It helps us to have a much better understanding of the two stories when we compare and contrast. Well, I know I understand the stories better. And I hope you do too. And that's all for now, friends. Have a very, very happy weekend, and I'll see you next week. And so will I. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.